Ashish took in a few different things about Sweetie as they raced. The way her legs ate up the track easily, her arms were bent loosely by her sides, her breathing was perfectly paced, her gorgeous high ponytail swung and bounced. She was power, she was grace, she was beauty. She was totally kicking his ass. Ashish rallied and made a gallant effort, but he could see there was no point. There was no way he could beat her now. Winning was a huge part of his identity. He was unapologetically competitive. But even so, watching her mercilessly crush him on the track didn't hurt his ego at all. Weirdly enough, as he closed in on the finish line, he was smiling. Sweetie was already there, smiling too, hands on her hips. Tendrils of hair were plastered across her sweaty forehead and neck. Little drops of sweat beaded along the bridge of her delicate nose. Ashish found this detail almost painfully cute, and he had to rearrange his facial features to look chagrined. Oh man, he said. What, did you pop caffeine pills with a Red Bull chaser for breakfast? She laughed. Nope, I just wanted to show you. Show me what? He remembered how she'd said she wanted to get something out of the way and frowned at her as sweat dripped into his eyes. He cocked her head. I wanted to show you I'm not lazy, unhealthy, or any of the myriad other things people tend to assume. And I'm not someone who's only on the track team because her parents know someone important. I'm really good. Ashish nodded, sensing she wasn't done yet. And before you ask, I can run because I practice. My weight has nothing to do with my overall health. I kick pretty much everyone's butts at Piedmont, guys and girls alike. I can totally believe that, Ashish said seriously. Are you gonna run in college? That's the plan, she said, looking at him funny. Awesome, I'm gonna play ball in college. Sweetie nodded, still with that funny look on her face. Finally, she said, do you have any questions for me about my weight and track? Ashish thought about it, then shrugged. No, why should I? You're clearly ridiculously talented. Sweetie smiled. It was like a ray of light piercing the clouds. Ashish felt his dormant heart spark just a bit. I do have another question though, he said. Why'd you ask me to come here and do this? Besides wanting to show me up as the clearly inferior runner, I mean. He grinned to show he didn't take it personally. I asked you here because I heard my mom talking to yours about how she looked down at her feet and then back at him. The way her jaw was set, Ashish knew she was trying to be brave as she said the rest. About how I'm too fat to date you. Ashish winced at the word. Hey, don't call yourself that. Sweetie looked at him frankly. Why not? It doesn't bother me. She paused, considering her next words. What does hurt is that my, my own mom thinks it's a reason I couldn't date someone like you, but the word itself doesn't bother me. Really? She shrugged. Sure, I mean, the word fat isn't inherently bad or gross. It's people who've made it that way. Fat is just the opposite of thin, and no one flinches at that one. So to me, Fat is just another word that describes me, like brown or girl or athlete.